Now for the next one, we have 3x square plus 11x plus 10 equals to 0. So the x square has a coefficient of 3, so we need to divide the entire equation by 3. So here we divide by 3, the second term divide by 3, and the third term divide by 3. So on dividing, we'll get here x square. Here we'll get 11x by 3, and then here 10 by 3 equals to 0. Now equation is ready. Now we take this term, the non-x term, and we transpose it on the other side. So we'll get now x square. So this will be minus 10 by 3. Now it's time to complete the square. So we need to put a term here. So to put a term here, first we take the middle term, which is 11x by 3, and then divide it or multiply it by 1 by 2x. This is a standard way of doing it. So you cancel this up. And now here you will get 11 over 6. And we add on either side 11 by 6 the whole square is to be added on either sides. So plus 11 by 6 the whole square this way and 11 by 6 the whole square here. On this side we are going to get a square, a perfect square. Then this is the b square and here you have the 2ab. Then we have equal to minus 10 over 3, 11 square we know 11 square is 121 and the 6 square is 36. My A is X, B is 11 by 6, 2AB. So this is A and this is B. And to remind you, we know we, when we have A square plus 2AB plus B square, we get A plus B the whole square. So this is A plus B the whole square. So let us put here, this is our A. And this is the B, which is equal to, now here it's time to take LCM, 3 and, th 3 and 36, LCM is 36. So I have multiplied this by 12 and this also by 12. So I get here minus 10 into 12 minus 120 plus 121. Now to carry on, X plus 11 by 6 whole square. Minus 120 plus uh, 121 is 1, 1 by 36. The next step, this 2, when we take on the other side, it will become under root of 1 over 36. Here will become plus and minus. And what will remain here is x minus 11 by 6. Now remember the 2, when you take it on the other side, becomes under root. So you have x minus 11 by 6 equal to plus minus 1 by 6. So 11 minus 6, two cases, plus 1 by 6, or x minus 11 by 6, minus 1 by 6. There are two cases, one here minus, and one is a plus. Let's solve this. So 11 equal to 1 by 6. The minus 11 by 6 on the other side becomes plus 11 by 6. So x equal to... 12 by 6 and x equal to 2. On this side, x equal to minus 1 by 6. On the other side, become plus 11 by 6. So x is 10 by 6 and your x is 5 by 3. So answer 2 or 5 by 3. Now for the next one, we go a little faster. 2x square plus x minus 4 equals to 0. x square is a coefficient of 2, so we need to divide the equation by 2. So dividing the equation x square, here you divide by 2, divide by 2, divide by 2. So 2x square divided by 2 will be x square. This will be x over 2, and this will be minus 2 equal to 0. Now the, the non-x term, that is minus 2, has to be taken on the other side. So we'll get here x square plus x by 2 equal to plus 2. Now it's time, time to complete the square. It means we've got to fill in a number here and here. For that, I take the middle term, which is x by 2. And now I divide it or multiply it by 1 by 2x. It's dividing by. 
uh, to uh, two x. So I cancel this out. So I will now get here one by four, and I add one by four square on either sides. So there is here one one by four add on this side. To keep the equation equal, we need to add on either sides. So the the left hand side now becomes a square. This is b square, and this is my two a b term and on the right hand side it is 2 plus 1 over 4 square 16 this is x a square b square 2 a b and which is now a plus b the whole square a plus b the whole square so i need to write here x and my b is 1 by 4 which is equal to 2 here i'll take lcm this is over 1, so 1 and 16, LCM is 16. Here will be into 16 into 16. So it will be 32 plus 1. Let's carry on. So x plus 1 by 4 whole square. 32 plus 1 is 33 plus over 16. Now I have x plus 1 by 4 equal to 33 by 16. Now this square, this square, I take the square root on both the sides, so it becomes now this, it becomes plus minus. So plus 1 by 4 and this will be now under root of 33, this under root of 16 is 4 plus minus. So two cases, x plus 1 by 4 plus under root th 33 by 4 or x plus 1 by 4 equals to minus under root 33 by 4. So we solve this. We'll take the plus here. So this works out now. Under root 33 minus 1 over 4. Here we solve this equation again. So we have under root 33 by 4. The plus 4 on the other side becomes minus 4, minus, minus 1 by 4. So your x becomes minus under root 33 minus 1 over 4. So answers 33 minus 1 over 4, minus 33 minus 1 over 4.